Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning into another Super Tease video and something very monumentous, gigantic, and unprecedented has just occurred in Dragonflight. We are getting class reworks in the 10.0.7 patch, and this is something that's never happened. Usually it's just, well, that's just the way the class happens to be after the expansion comes out. Maybe things were rushed or pushed and things they didn't get to get to weren't got to, and now it looks like they are getting got to, and I'm very excited for this, the potential of what it could mean, not only for the specialization that is focused on this, but also the possibility of other specializations moving forward into other patches given that they have segmented it into 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, what's it, 0 0.2, 0 0.12. There's going to be a lot of different segmentations possibly and opportunities to hit specs that have pain points that in the past may have not been addressed until the next expansion. You're just kind of like, well, Sorry, Paladins. Uh, it's just going to be that way for you. So in this class rework, we're going to be covering all of the incoming changes coming for Retribution Paladin, their implications, and some thoughts on what other specializations could possibly need a tune-up like this. Because if they can, you know, nail this one then there's huge possibilities for other specializations in the future if you want to stay up to date with changes related to the game update with patch notes meta entertaining videos then make sure to hit the subscribe button your support is greatly appreciated and we are literally as close as we could possibly be to 50,000 subscribers in my long-term goal of 100,000 subscribers i'd really like that plaque to put up on the wall i uh, hope you guys appreciate the posters that i've actually decided to put up so it's no longer looking like i'm in the corner of a closet uh we'd love to put up a 100k youtube subscriber plaque there as well in the future to get there so all thanks to your support thank you very much as i aim to continue to be a great resource for that for that fact blizzard well met we are doing a substantial rework to the retribution talent tree in patch 10.0.7 rebuilding the ret paladin tree from the ground up so this is complete just like rip out the floor complete rework not just like a little retuning and a fine adjustment of this and you're still getting the same pain problems completely ripping it all out however the talent tree itself will not be available in our first ptr builds so initial testing on the ptr will be missing important context nonetheless we'd like to share our major goals for retribution with you button bloat retribution paladins currently have a fairly large number of abilities and some of these feel unnecessary and inefficient we're working to tone this down and have a more focused set of abilities and cooldowns so i'm really curious what they're aiming at here particularly because rep powder doesn't stand out to me as like one of the most bloated classes um in terms of keybinds and it does make me a bit worried about what this means does this mean they're going to remove seraphim and you know there's a keybind you don't need to worry about but then make your damage higher in other and basically across the rest of the game so that it's not only this specific window of time because right now with the way the game is for rep paladin it's, it's you're either just smacking somebody and they're down for the count in one attack or you're running around doing a whole lot of nothing on Rep Paladin. So going in there and removing some of those cooldowns that stack together that hit that excessive burst point does mean that they can be more free to give you higher damage output outside of those windows, which I think is what almost all the classes, at least in PvP, uh, would desire to have. And again, this is a change for the game as a whole, not even just PvP. So this this might have implications uh, in PvE as well, uh, where you know maybe you're ramping up too long or something along those lines. And I'm, I'm not going to really focus too much on the PvE side of it. Definitely going to be more focused on the PvP, but do take that into consideration. Stacking modifiers. This leads into the next thing that I was just talking about. There are currently several Several talents and abilities that provide stacking bonuses, which can make for a confusing and messy playstyle that deals extreme burst damage, but in return leaves your core abilities feeling unsatisfied and undertuned. We intend to sig significantly change this. We want your core abilities to feel good and powerful when used in all situations. This is literally like the holy grail of blue post paragraphs as a PvP player I have ever wanted to read in my entire life. Like for like the last like I don't know how. Many any expansions we don't want you stacking a bunch of modifiers where you're only able to end a match or take a target down in one second of time and then you're just running around waiting for that window of time you're able to do more damage like oh my god if they can hit this on every class man just hit this on every class pvp is going to be in an astronomically insane position in terms of fun uh from my point of view and if it is for you then let me know in the comments down below because this this is like the holy grail this is literally like i want to like print this screenshot out 
put it on some type of like statue or something and just display it for everybody. Like I, I am in love with this paragraph. Uh, this doesn't mean we're reducing all elements of burst damage, but we do want to make burst more purposeful and deliberate. So while also allowing options to provide sustained damage. So still again, Rhett Paladin has been a burst class, right? So completely removing burst wouldn't I don't, in terms of the archetype of the spec, wouldn't it be the best, but giving you the option to have some opportunities outside of these one second windows where you're absolutely destroying somebody is going to be really nice for the class. Survivability, poor rep paladins out there. Uh, they made a comment, uh, I wonder if it's included in here, but Retribution Paladins currently having one of the highest death rates across all forms of content. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be a little bit real with you rep pounds. You're going to get roasted a little bit here. You were the class to get auto bubble, okay? And I think it was for this reason. I think that they saw you guys not bubbling and dying too much and they're like, "Yo, we got to do something about the metrics here. These these paladins ain't they ain't bubbling. They're just dying all over the place. We got to up these numbers, man. There's too many deaths in the pal. Let's give them auto bubble cuz I think that, you know, maybe this isn't necessarily just a class thing. Now I know it is pretty easy to kill rep paladin, especially coming from a boomkin perspective. You guys are definitely struggling on the defensive uh capacity here but some some of y'all not pressing the bubble too so uh let's be real there for a second but this is looking promising for you so far uh for a plate wearing class with hybrid healing this doesn't feel right we're looking to strengthen them through a mixture of passive bonus and improvements to active abilities and cooldowns while keeping the degree of challenge that results from being a melee based spec and the challenge is deciding when to run when to go in um so what does this mean for your class like are you gonna get old defensive cooldowns like being able to wall or are you going to get the magic bop maybe a completely new different set of spells like there's a lot of exciting things to really think about and get going on in your brain here because like they're completely reworking the talent tree from the ground up they're going to give you new options on builds for sustained damage they're cutting down some of the bloat again i'm a bit worried about what that means like what what do they consider bloat i'd really like to see some specifics there for that um but then focus on bringing your defensive capacities up so you're not it's not always you get in the solo shuffle and go ret <laughs> is the first thing you see whenever the Rets on the other team. Um, so definitely looking very promising in regards to that. For maneuverability, and this is like the main pain point. Honestly, they only gave you two lines for it because I know a lot of y'all are, are rolling around trying to trying to get to your target on your Retribution Paladin. I know a lot of Rep Paladins aren't a big fan of the Steed. They really like the Emancipate, being able to remove your own snares um, and dispel them frequently. So very curious to see what direction they go. Let's see what they've got to say, though. We recognize that there's an issue here, and we hope to make some improvements. However, we want to set clear expectations. Rep Paladins should not expect to gain mobility of rogues. Okay, maybe this is the only disappointing part for you guys because that was, that, was, that was short and to the point that was like yeah we know that you've got issues uh moving but you ain't gonna be rogues and if you ain't gonna be rogues where does that where does the line put you between right because it's kind of like ret and then rogue so like are you gonna be what are you gonna be a warrior are you gonna like somewhere in the middle like where 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 are we putting you guys um in terms of mobility what direction like do they completely scrap the steed idea bring back emancipate do some other interesting things, um, maybe with Blessing of Freedom along those lines would be really interesting. Um, I I'm excited to see uh, what they do, but this does seem to be like, you're gonna still maybe have a problem with mobility and they kind of want you to stay in that <laughs> stay in that lane, uh, unfortunately. Utility, the changes that Dragonflight brought to Retribution uh, have caused some conflict for players, forcing the Ret Paladin to choose between providing benefits to their group or benefiting themselves. This choice can be interesting, but due to the way this has historically worked for Paladins, it hasn't felt right in Dragonflight. So we're looking to make changes here that allow you to feel good and improve your own damage while also providing the group benefits that you're used to. We're all also looking at into an additional utility improvements for paladin during the 10.0.7 test cycle so I, for me something like this is like how power infusion has a talent to use it on an ally and yourself right so you're benefiting the group in some capacity and you get the damage benefit that you need um from the throughput of this ability to be able to compete with the other classes uh along those lines is likely the direction does this maybe mean going back to more blessings because that used to be kind of the core, you know, Blessing of Might, Blessing of Kings, that type of deal. But they also talked about wanting to remove button, button bloat. So there's a little bit of conflicting ideas um, within the post as a whole. I'm still kind of like with the Holy Grail paragraph right here. But in terms of button bloat and mobility and utility, not a lot is made clear with this other than the fact that they are doing something that is unprecedented, which is reworking a class like 
after the launch point of the expansion in this area of time where normally it would be like radio silence for a lot of the classes that maybe ended up not in the best position. Um, and I wonder if this means they are willing to look at other specs because I can name a few, right? Like to me, Marksmanship Hunter, I think would uh, would enjoy getting looked at a little bit. But again, I wonder if it won't because it's, it's doing well in PVE type of deal. Um, Miss Weaver Monk is another one that I'd really like to see. I feel like Miss Weaver has just it's needed a tune up for a while um in terms of its overall construct a, a new re-envisioned version of itself um because it's it's just been kind of stale at this point at least when it comes to pvp again maybe in pve it's doing well and then they're fine with it and that won't happen but i'm talking strictly from a pvp standpoint and honestly for myself personally haven't been a big fan of the malefic rapture build for affliction um, I feel like it's homogenized it into a builder spender rotation like every other class. And I much preferred Affliction being more about debuff uptime and buff uptime, things like Soulburn Haunt and maintaining as much damage output as possible at all times. I really liked that archetype. That was my favorite version of Warlock um, in previous expansions, like the Warlords of Draenor version of it with Soulburn Haunt, for example. So I'd, I'd really like Affliction, honestly, um, to get a tune up similar to this. Um, but will those, will those come to fruition? I'm not sure. Um, do we need to stir up and make as much commotion as possible for those types of things to happen as uh as rep paladins have done at this point maybe that's what needs to happen i don't know um obviously don't go flaming people or getting aggressive with people um in that regard but i definitely think bringing up criticism and feedback towards the classes seems to be like a good thing to do and a good time to do it given how much retuning we've been actively getting rebalancing and now reworking um of things that were just completely from the ground up so i'm very excited i hope you guys are let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this update what it means for you uh does it mean you're gonna check out a rep paladin um um, I, I feel like you're going to want to get on that PTR as soon as these things are available because this was left pretty open-ended in terms of uh, what, what they're going to possibly do with it. So I'm, I'm very excited to see it. Again, just unprecedented. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one.